Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mr. New Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the new multi-camera feature inside of DaVinci Resolve 12. I know my editor friends are going to be very intrigued about this, so without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. First of all, I'm going to import my footage, and since you all, I'm sure, know, in DaVinci Resolve 12, you can now just drag and drop from Windows Explorer. Oh my goodness, so good. Next thing you're going to do is select all your footage, right click, go to create a multi-camera clip using selected clips. Naming it multi-cam is fine, that frame rate is right, and then under angle sync, this is going to be a really big part. Go down and change this to sound, this way it will sync your clips via sound. Obviously you need to have pretty much the same sound in each clip, but it doesn't need to be exactly the same because although there are six quote angles unquote here, there's only two cameras and three takes. And I think some of the takes might not even be the same, because I think we did like six or seven, I just grabbed you know, a random take out of there, random couple takes. So whenever you have sound selected, I'm going to also unclick move clips to original clips bin because that just makes life a little bit easier for me. Then we hit create and it will analyze clips and through the magic of editing, they're all done. And you can see we have a new multi-camera sequence right here and you play through and look, they're all in sync. Wow. Look at that. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is right click, go to create a timeline using selected clips. Uh, we'll call this MC edit. Next we'll head over to our edit page and double click to make sure that we have the right sequence in our timeline down here. And then you'll see up here we have a source viewer for our multi-camera edit sequence. And when you're first getting started, you may think, all right, great, I can just play through here and you know, switch angles, yada, yada. But then you do that and nothing changes down here. What you have to do, this is the trick to it, it's over here in the left hand corner. Just click on this, go down to multi-camera, and now you see there's this little record button you've got. You've got all these different, you know, angle options here. Three by three is cool for this. Then we'll scrub forward in the timeline. You'll see that the viewer actually syncs up with the timeline perfectly. So we can play through and you can say, great, I want this clip, I want this clip. Wow, this is looking awesome. Go, yeah, yeah. Look at that, whoa, nice. And you'll see down in our timeline, I'll just switch this to offline so we don't have to deal with that. It plays back. Look at that. Oh, great job, Theo. That is that is a wonderful edit. Beautiful. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. Be sure to check out our house let's pack on misnewmedia.com slash products. If you want to get started color grading or if you're already a pretty decent colorist, you can download those. They'll give you some extra inspiration color wise. I like to use them a lot, so I'd highly recommend them. Be sure to share this video with your friends if you think they'd like to start using DaVinci Resolve more as an NLE and less as just a finishing program. Be sure to subscribe to Misnew Media if you want to see more videos like this. Also check out links in the description below. We've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. All those things if you're into that. Once again, I've been Theo with Misnew Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.